Welcome back to JTML9681 LPs. I'm your host, JTML9681. And we are going to be playing another Atari 2600 game Video Pinball. This was not all too great of a pinball simulation. Midnight Magic is most definitely 100 times better. And I'm not going to try and explain everything of, of what everything means in this. You could go to the link in the, the video description and look up the uh, manual and it will explain more things. But up flips both flippers, left and then right. Down pulls back the spring. You press the button and it releases. Usually I just use both flippers. Oh, 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 oh! Ah, why did I flip the flippers too early? See, I have it on difficulty A, just to show you what difficulty A does. Oh! Come on, can I get that last one? Oh, nice! That thing in the middle there, it'll give you like a thousand points every time it's struck. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Good at yes! Multiplier. I didn't think I'd get it on difficulty A. Holy crap. Now that slot that still says one up there, well now it's now it's the three. I'm not sure what exactly that does. Maybe that's a multiplier at the end or something. Oh no 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 no! Oh yes, that is a multiplier for the end. Yeah, that's what that does. Okay, now it makes more sense. And I have to agree with Red Clock. That smacks more like a high bounce ball than an actual metal pinball. I remember those machi <laughs> I remember those machines that uh where there were no flippers, but there was like the spring that you pulled back or whatever, it released the ball go, and then whatever it would hit, you know, you just rack up points. And usually it's meant for like getting tickets and like you can get prizes for the tickets. You know how arcades used to be with that? Ski ball was a big thing with that. That's what this kind of resembles more, besides the fact that it actually has flippers in it that you can use. You know, it makes you it does make you feel stupid. <laughs> When you shoot your mouth off without doing any research, so that's why I've not, you know, really explained much of anything. But, okay, 24,320. Woo! That's a nice score. Well, let's go to difficulty B. Oh, I gotta reset. Once I figured more things, uh, 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 oh, right down the middle, there was nothing I could have done there. They made too much of a gap. <laughs> Boo. Let's try this again under difficulty B. I did horrible. I forgot what even I was saying. <laughs> oh well. Woo! 
Uh, uh, uh. Holy smoke. Oh, oh, that was nice. And that can happen. Oh, that sucked. Come on. Uh. I mean, there are times with this game that it can get a little thrilling, but it's not one of the best simulations of pinball, though. This is getting better. Much better go at this. But the, uh, the, I went down the middle again. Ah. That was a good first ball, though. You can get an extra ball, but I actually forget how exactly it, you, it works to actually get it. I did look it up, but I forgot. Like I said, I will have the uh, instruction manual, a link to it, in the video description so you can check it out. Well, at least it's safe in there. Oh, nice! Oh, no. Whoa! Ah, come on. Ah. <laughs> Go in it. Yeah! Multiplier. No! <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's good. I like that. Come on, go in there. Ah. <laughs> Paul just bounces all around. Doing an excellent run on this one. Woo! 
But sometimes the ball can end up getting stuck on those little swirly things, and it just, it can make the game really boring having to wait for the ball to get out of it. Well, that was the end of that chapter. Well, that's going to be it, folks. Just a short one of this. Well, as short as what, however. Video pinball for the Atari 2600. Hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in my next X-Play. See you later.